Hey guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very, very special one. We're going to concentrate on the newest Milani powder that has come in the market. And this is called the Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. This one. And I picked out the shade Translucent. So we're going to see how this performs on the face. It's going to be a quick review just because we are showcasing this. But I'll also use like a few Milani products here and there. Especially I want to see like how it pairs with my My Holy Grail concealer from Milani. So, so we're going to test this out. Let's see if this is like worth trying out or not because I'm very, very picky on my like powder. And if this works being a drugstore powder, I would love it even more. So if you're ready, let's begin. So let me read a little bit about the powder. This is called their Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. It retails for $12.99 on Ulta's website. It says Milani's Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder is designed to work across all skin tones to create flawless veil that seamlessly blurs out imperfections. I have a lot of imperfections. I have a lot of texture on my face and I look forward to a blurring powder. So we'll see how it performs with like my Holy Grail Givenchy powder or like the Wet n Wild powder or the LYS uh, Translucent Setting Powder. These are some of the powders that I absolutely love. So we'll test it out. It also says it's a weightless, ultra finely milled powder, transparent, universal shade designed for all skin tones so this is the only shade that is available in the milani powder just the translucent shade maybe they'll like expand in the future times but we'll see it's made in italy which we all love <laughs> we know all like finely milled like expensive powders are made in italy so i'm very happy to see that formulated without talc and it is cruelty free it says its benefits are it preserves the radiant effects of the cream products Oh, let's try that actually. With an ultra finely milled powder, it blurs imperfections, luminous matte, soft focus, filter-like effect. It is always silky, never chalky. It absorbs the oil with a unique blend of powders. Universal shade creates a transparent, flawless way on the skin. So let's try it out. That's like too many claims to even like put out. <laughs> so I'm going to test it out with some cream products too, just so that we see the claims match what they say or not <laughs> okay so let's begin i only have my base right now and i use my nars light reflecting foundation in this shade Syracuse. i i have my brows also if you guys don't know <laughs> i mean if, i am i'm pretty sure that you can see it this is the secret of faro eyebrow pencil in the shade charcoal uh, i have my lip liner which is kkw beauty's lip liner in the shade 2.5 uh, let's actually apply our lipstick first because I love my Milani lipsticks and I want to showcase them. I have a few shades with me, but I feel like we should use Desire. A chocolatey brown shade would never, never hurt anyone. And this is undoubtedly like my favorite lipstick from the drugstore, like without a doubt. Like I have several, several lipsticks from Milani matte fetish line and I love it. I love all of them. I have all the nude shades as well as like a few pink and red shades too. Let's start off with the concealer. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer and I have mine in the shade 140. So let's apply this and see how it performs with the powder. If you guys don't know, this is my Holy Grail Concealer like it this doesn't beat anything so i am excited to see how this performs with the powder i applied my base quite a bit earlier today i had to go to church so i just applied like that foundation and a liquid actually liquid contour also and that was from she glam this one uh, this is in the shade Warm Honey. So that's the only like base that I have on my skin today. Now we have all the concealer set. Now, before the concealer creases underneath my eyes, let's start off with the powder. I'm excited to see this. This is how the inside of the powder looks. So this can be pulled off. Oh, we have a beautiful mesh, which we always love and appreciate so that the powder doesn't like floof up everywhere. I'm just going to take this thing away, take the powder puff, press it on top. Because it's a mesh, it's going to be very, very easy to like store. 
I'm going to take some on the back of the powder puff and then start buffing it. I'm going to pat it underneath my eyes and also on top of the eyelid. It seems very, very lightweight. Oh. I totally can see the difference. I don't know if you can see it or not. Like, let me finish this side and then we'll do a before and an after. It says it's translucent. It definitely has a tint, if you can see, because where I applied my uh, concealer, let me show you before and after, and then you'll know what I'm talking about. I totally can see this side is definitely more like my skin like and this has a lot more lightness because uh, my concealer was a little bit lighter but you can truly see the smoothness that this powder gives it definitely blurred out all my pores on this side as compared to this so this is with no powder and this is with powder I'm really liking it upon first application so let's continue i'll definitely update you guys in the description box below uh, how this powder performed throughout the day Ooh, that's nice oh my god okay let me just feel it and Okay, it doesn't feel like anything actually. Like it definitely doesn't feel like, I mean, it's very, very smooth, finely milled powder. I love it. <laughs> so far, so good. I really, really like it. I'm just gonna dust it with like a big fluffy brush on the perimeters of my face. And then let's apply the bronzer as well as a cream uh, blush just so that we see like if it bunches on top of this powder or not i'm going to take my milani suntan bronzer another beautiful product from milani which i absolutely love this one is in the shade suntan 03 Okay, let's move on to a cream uh, blush. I'm going to take my Patrick Ta blush. And this one is in the shade Do We Know Her. I'm going to take this orangey blush. Definitely picks up really well on my brush. I'm going to pat it down. Yeah, I definitely can see the sheen coming from the cream uh, blush. We'll just see if it, it disturbs the powder underneath. No, I don't see any disturbance happening. And I definitely see a color coming through too. I really, really like it. Definitely don't want to lose the powdered effect in the center of my face. I really like to keep my center of the face matte and like a little dewiness on the perimeters of the face. I really like it. So upon first application, I really, really, really love this powder. Uh, I'm definitely gonna keep this, like keep using this and I'll definitely update you in like a few videos coming up that how I feel about this powder. If it is there in my favorites or not, you will definitely come to know. But that's all, it was like a quick and a short video but I definitely wanted to focus on this like Milani blur powder. I am very, very happy with the blurring effect that this gives and this definitely, I feel like it's gonna be staple in my routine as long as it like wears out completely nicely towards the end of the day so fingers crossed for that and we'll see how it performs but that's all for today guys if you did like this video you know what to do do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesday thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys